Hi friends, welcome to Tech Harvesting. In today's video, we are going to have a look at how we can add a GraphQL client to our React application. So we'll be adding the Apollo client package so that we can create GraphQL requests within our React app. This is a very simple thing, but you might find it a little bit confusing. So, so get subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and let's get started. So to get started creating our GraphQL client and connecting to the GraphQL server and doing everything in React, we'll be using the Apollo client by Apollo. This is very useful. Of course, there are a lot of other GraphQL clients, but I like Apollo client the most since it gives me a lot of features to use. Uh, and also it gives a few React hooks. So this is the Apollo client docs. So you can head over here, apollographql.com slash docs slash React. You get onto this page, and of course, there are a lot of other libraries like uh, the Apollo Server, Apollo Client for Vue, Angular, Svelte, Ember.js, and more. But of course, we'll be using the React library. So, to get started, we have to create a React application. So, for that, I've opened up this folder right here in VS Code. It's called Apollo Client Tutorial. And in here, we'll be creating our React application and connecting to our GraphQL server and doing much of those things. So, for creating our React app, I'm not going to be using Create React App today because I find Create React App too slow. But instead, we'll be using something called Wheat. So, for doing that, we're just going to create a normal React app with Wheat. So, you can do npx create dash Wheat at latest, hit enter, and it should bring in wheat and we should be able to create a project as you can see here so project name I'm giving dot because I want it to be in our current directory and then the package name so I'm going to do Apollo dash tutorial hit enter then we have a framework so we can choose the framework of course we'll be using react here but you do have options to choose from vanilla which is normal JavaScript view react preact lit and even swelt so I'm using React, hit enter. You can use TypeScript if you want. For now, for just this is a tutorial and you may not know TypeScript. So I'm just gonna be using JavaScript here. And it's gonna create a project and you can see it's done. It's much, much quicker than create React app. You can install our dependencies now by running npm install or yarn. I'm just using yarn in here. And then you can run our project with yarn dev. And this is really quick. This is not as long as create react app. You can see it's almost done right now. And it's done. So now you can do yarn dev. And it's pretty quick. As you can see, it just took half a second to start up. Not like create react app, building everything slowly. If you click on the link in there, you can see we got it loaded right here. So you can see we have a small counter to in here. So. First, I'm just going to delete these files. There are a lot of these useless files that you have. Just mute my volume. There you go. So, delete that. Delete that. Yes. And in here, I'm just going to remove these imports because we don't need them. So, all the way down. Remove those. And there's only a CSS import in here. We actually don't need the CSS also, but I'm just going to keep it. So the first thing we'll do is just give hello in there and check if it's working. So you can see we get hello. And let us start by installing the Apollo client package. So you can just do yarn add at Apollo slash client. And we'll also need to install GraphQL since it's a dependency. So I'll be back once this is done. So that got over and I'm just going to collapse the terminal. Now let's set up the Apollo client package. So we're going to import a few things from at Apollo slash client. So the first thing is Apollo client itself, which is just a class. So we'll go in here and we'll do const client equals new Apollo client oops and you can see that we are getting a new Apollo client in here 
we can do control space here and we got all the options and there are this cache option is something that we'll always need to set it's required so we're going to cache to a new in memory cache so what this does is just going to create a cache object so that we can use the cache and apollo can deal with it properly next we'll need to go ahead and give in the url for our server so it's just for me http local host 3001 slash graphql so if you don't know about the graphql server that i'm using right now it's just one that i created in a previous tutorial i'll link it down below and it's very simple all it does is i just have a query called hello and it's gonna go ahead run it and when you run it we just get back hello world very simple but if you want to create it from scratch you can just watch that tutorial it's there in the description below too so the last thing we'll need to do is to create an apollo provider so apollo provider and wrap our entire application in it so i'm just gonna replace this deal with an apollo provider and it also takes in a prop of client and we're gonna pass in our client so this client object that we created in here this is the apollo client and this is the provider so if we don't wrap our entire app in the provider component we won't get it to work properly next i'm just going to create a hello component quickly just for testing all these so rafce i'm just going to have the text hello in there and in here hello and let's just import hello from hello now if you return we still get the same thing which means it's working because it's wrapped properly and we have our hello component displaying so we are going to be using the use query hook from apollo in order to display the data from a query from a graphql server so just an example query right here but if you want to know what it does and how it works then you can go ahead and watch the video which i mentioned but you can right now import use query from apollo client and you can do const brackets equals use query and we have to give it a query here so we can't pass in the text directly it will sometimes work it may not work sometimes so what we'll need to actually do is to do gql which is imported from you can see apollo client and pass in these back ticks then we can create write in a query in here and the query is hello for now this is a simple query as i told just return some text then in here we can do data and data dot hello what this does is checks if this data is not undefined if it's there it displays the hello object which is the name of the query right here so that's all we need to do actually the data is coming from here and there are a lot of other things from here like call which says if the request is called and loading if the request is loading and a lot more but for now that's all we need to do so if we were to return here you can see we are getting hello world which is coming from our server so we want to inspect go to network and reload we just open up network today this graphql request and fetch is just what it's happening so it's just fetching the data from our endpoint see it's a graphql request and if we go to preview we got the data as hello world so this is hello as you can see so it's working really well and that's all you actually need to do to set up graphql uh in our react app a graphql client which is the apollo client in this case you could use any other clients you could go ahead and create multiple queries and mutations in your server and test it out and if this was a project that you're just going to do of course you can just follow along and do it it works it's very simple to do with apollo client so that was it for this video thanks for watching all i wanted to do is show you how you can set up the graphql client which is apollo client and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye friends